I'm not wearing those. Yeah, so remind me, why am I wearing these? Because I found I had two vintage 3D glasses from, you know, shows of Age of Ultron, and, you know, Iron Man and Loki, and so, because I wanted to see it twice in 3D apparently, and uh, so I was like, you have to wear one, and I have to wear one, because oh. I, I can't bully Omega into wearing one. Age of Ultron, that takes me back <laughs> nostalgia to before all the Marvel films were shit. They're not shit, they're just... A controversial thing to say. A genre Are of they their really own. vintage? It was only what? Like, how many years ago? 2014? Yeah. This is almost it was before years. things... No, 2014. Yeah, yeah, more like yeah, basically, you're making it sound like every single Marvel movie is basically like The Asylum. Nowadays. It's just... It's not... It's just not... This isn't what we're here for. Oh, okay. I'm still right. That's additional content for you another day. We do, we do need to go to see a Marvel film together so we can have an argument about it. Because yeah. generally I'm fine with them still. Weirdo. <laughs> see, these two, they'll just happily sit and debate whatever if you let them go. But we're not going to let them go. That's not what we're about today. Because... Pip the Elder. Bart <laughs> Palmerston. Pip the Elder. It's a bit from The Simpsons where Barney gets into a bar fight with someone over who the best Prime Minister was, and they pit the Elder or Lord Palm Palmerston. Well, it's obviously Margaret Thatcher. Enough! What's your man with the other Eat it. Clement Attlee. Yeah. He is the actual best Prime Minister. So, the point of this, if you've read the title, <laughs> is that Teddy and I went to visit one of our friends in Germanland. Creature, the, the Photoshop vizier of the reviews. We just filmed, that's why I've got makeup on still. So, while we were there, we decided to do the usual thing, where we bought random German things, and we're going to force these two to try them. Not really force, you were like, we have snacks, and I was like, oh, that's fantastic, actually. I'll we'll start with this one first, because this is awesome. Colin bought a random box of these, so we could have, like, snacks in the hotel, and the next time we went to a shop, we walked away with about a dozen boxes of them for our suitcase. Yep. That must be really good. And there's ten in each box, so... Are we, box. like, does that mean that we're keeping the rest of these? Oh, yes. this is like a German version of a, of a Dutch walk. Yeah, what yeah. yeah, do you guys, I keep the rest of this box. I've already <laughs> eaten one, so... But oh, they, like they, they look exactly like, like that. I've You're, seen these in Holland before. Europeans love hazelnuts. It's, I think it's like their only nut. I'm sure they should, because they're awesome. Yeah, they are awesome. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, I think almonds are better. Sure. I don't like almonds. Ah! It ejaculated on me! <laughs> The biscuit is sometimes a little crumbly. Well, I'm going to Hoover tomorrow morning before Alan comes home. It's like an off-brand Nutella in between some really nice nutty biscuits. No, but it's not. It's like not the consistency of Nutella. It's like a a crumbly, like cold ganache almost, but it's not cold. The um the wafers are like the pink biscuit. Mhm. Mm Americans, are you familiar with the pink biscuits? Yeah, we have blue wafers. Ah. Vanilla, like, not yellow wafers, those are something you're familiar with. You've got, like, the wafers. Usually they're vanilla, but you can get the kind that are pink, chocolate, and vanilla. Hmm. And they have, like, the, the same color frosting inside other wafers. So that's what brought me to want to see, is I miss having mm -hmm. the pink biscuits. Yeah. So you may as well sit the rest of them aside for a little palate cleansers, just in case. No. Hmm. No, I wanted to eat them. Are they going to crumble on me as well? Maybe. So, this I think may be hit and miss. Beefy roll! So, it is called a beefy roll. This looks like... It was described to me as a pepperoni no. in a... <laughs> no, no. In a I, bun. I don't like beef. That's true, yeah. Oh, no. I think like it's pork. <laughs> Maybe beefy is like uh, just a word that means something else. Well, there's English in the back. Uh, the it's salami, really which is pork. There you go, you're fine. Why'd you call it beefy, Germany? Well, no, it's B, uh, like it's bi fi, so that yeah. might be like two syllables for something else. Well, let's make sure. It's the brand. Is there a date uh, for best before on these? Because for all we know, they are red for dated or something. Um, by EU law, there has to be. Oh. No, they're like pepperonis. Pepperonis no, like forever. It, I found it. You have to shine it. Um, six twenty-eight twenty-three. So June twenty-eighth. Oh, mm -hmm. right. This looks okay. like a dog treat. This is something you would give your creature described to me. It was just like a pepperoni in like a little bread it's casing. Shelf stable. It looks like a. The hey, audience, don't tell them that I don't have one anymore. Mm. Any no, well, I don't have it. 
God damn it! Audience, why did you betray me? It's no, good. that's exactly what that is. It's a pepperoni and a bread. It's delicious. No, yeah, it's like a Slim Jim. It's like a fig roll. Is that what Slim Jims are? Oh no. Slim Jims don't have the bread, but the, the, it's like a shelf stable, very thin kind of. Oh. It's a different bunch of spices mm. than this, but. It's like a fig roll designed to make you practice fellatio. I mean, what are you even talking about? It's nice. Oh, look at that. But a bit dry. Could do with some salt. Yeah, the bread. Would you stop mm. that? The bread is very dry. I do like the little pepperoni thing inside, though. I think you just put that off as long as possible so you don't have to bite it. How many calories is it? A lot, probably. So there's meat, so I'm only going to eat half of it. Maybe 400? I have no idea. They came in like two of these parcels were attached to each other. So it might be on one of the others. Well, hold on. Um, this per 100 gram is 459 calories. For 100 grams. But it's, it's 80 grams. So, um, yeah, about 380, 370. Mm. And a while out of that one. Right. This is good, but if I finish it, I would. Germany, you're really good at sausages. Why'd you make that? I think it's nice. Okay. Are you putting things down the side of the couch? No, that's not down the side. Next is something called Kettys. The little kitty on it. It's adorable. And these are thumbs. called Hubert Thumbs. They look like they're like little kind of juju kind of stuff. Looks like a Japanese sweet. You know, yeah, especially with the little kawaii thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. the bright pink. So I'll let you steal your own. They're like several different colors. Well, purple is usually black currant punishment flavor, so I will take. In the UK. Who knows what white. it's like in Germany? Probably worse. Are we going at a specific time? Oh, they're little, they're modeled after little fruits. Yeah, this one's a lemon, one of berry. They do look like softer, squidgy jujubes. Or jujubes, I mean. Oh, they're just pour some in your hand. I don't know, these are like vegan, so... Um, yeah, they were in like a little vegan bin. Come on, I picked up three of the same color, that's just wrong. The squidginess is kind of like... more squidgy than gummy. So it's like, almost like at the middle of a... um, gel bait. Very lovely. Yeah, little squeaky wheelie thing. Oh, I, I do definitely know that texture. Um, yeah. Yeah, I recognize that. But I don't know what from. Yeah, it's there's like, a sweet that. I it's like a mochi. No, yeah, but that's not where I know it from. Mm. I'm almost saying I like the fruit no, snacks. No, yeah. you know what? It's, it's it's like fruit snacks that you would get like a little packet of them in your lunch. I like the flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Could have bought more of these. Mm, we could take them back. No, just generally. Oh. I'm very sure I've had these before. Yeah, it's a very familiar fruity thing going on there. Ah. Uh. Uh. More of these, Escape? Oh. I find that really nice because that's the pork thing. This is a bit of a dead spine. Or, or part of the sauce. Yeah, that bag's a commitment. Yeah, I couldn't remember if I put the hey, more of those it's in. It's called Nim 2. It's this family packaging, so I'm going to assume it's like individual wrapping things inside. There's like no indication. Oh wait, there are. Look at the hard Uh, yeah, that's about what they are. The little, little boiled sweets. Oh, okay. Looks like there are two colors. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, we're Orange, you're glad you chose orange. This is a perfectly serviceable lemon experience. It's just a standard orange or sweet. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, but like a glassy fruit. Seems Remember. wrong doing this in a let's mm. try. It's like. There's some there's a fruit gel inside the middle. Yeah, some of them have that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one of these so, was supposed to stay in my house for me. The, the secret of NIM 2 is that it's not very original. No, apparently it's very widely painted. So, this was something that Colin pointed at and declared to be evil. So I'm not touching it. Oh, is it Salmiaki? Is it, is it, um, it is licorice? It is Haribo Dark Mix. Oh, I love licorice. Ah. You're going to make that face. Mm -hmm. You with me, taking licorice? I do hate licorice. I ain't touching it. 
Haribo does make a salmiaki one. The, uh, the, 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 the salted black liquor. I think we have that in here. Oh, that's my favorite. Whenever I go to that, you know that that Swedish esque shop across the street from where Alfred is in Belfast? Mm -hmm. Well, if I can sneak in there, I'll get some some yeah. Toast and stuff. Yeah, it's like the IKEA small things. That's good. That's too much. Here, okay. <laughs> no, you have to. It's the let's try. You can't not. Remember, that one's... Yeah, you have to have one with the crisp. No, you, you can't make us have things. That nope. Do. I brought the sweets. That's not how this would, works. Would you like to eat the little Fluttermouse? It's a Fluttermouse. Here, bring it. Give it back to me so I can put these back in. Because obviously... I'm having all the good ones. Well, if you want, you can have some of these other. The guy's got a bag in my throat. Oh, great. Oh, and there's a cream cooker. Nice one. Yes, sir? Are you going to slap me for giving you uh, no. a... Are you um, going to spit it um, on her? Do not get anything on the couch. <laughs> 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 Alright, give you context. I handed Colin one of these. Little Fluttermouse, a little bat. German word for, flutter, for bat is Fluttermouse, and I find it adorable. He just handed me back. The bat without wings. <laughs> we just ate the gummy wings. People have very polarizing opinions about licorice. Licorice is evil, and I have to eat it because I'll get yelled at if I don't. Look, you wanted to do that. I love licorice. But yeah, that's it. Think, just think of the free content you're getting. Mm -hmm. I honestly think the only reason they didn't They're sell getting. that here is because Bernie Bassett exists. Well, yeah, but you're not going to do any work for this content. You're not even having to edit it. I have to eat licorice. Hey, you know what? There's a long, there's a long tradition of let's try as your people try awful things and nearly puke. This is true. Yeah, I couldn't remember if I put four in the bag, and that's why I grabbed the bag. Right. These. Oh yeah, I remember those. They were nice. Wait. Those. Did I try it? I don't know that's why I'm just committed to grappling this. Yeah, time. yeah. I think I tried. We find these, but they were like listed as limited edition. The packaging feels like it should be a cigar. <laughs> the color, the text, the uh, L just feels like cigar. Ooh, a little ball of fun. Ooh, like a kind of. Ooh with these ball of fun you are sporting as. No, I don't think I did try these. They look like baby rush ears, mm. but what they are is... Uh, oh. mm. What they are is not as good. Mm. It's nice. It kind of has like <laughs> Oreo crumbs on the outside, and like a some kind of nice, like hazelnut fondant. It's like a discount Ferrero Rocher without a hazelnut in the middle. Yeah, Ferrero but it tastes of uh, cookie. Mm. I mean, they're adorable and tasty, but they're not Ferrero. I mean, that's the problem with anything that isn't Ferrero, mm. other than Cadbury. But then again, depends on the product of Cadbury. Okay, I can do that. Then again, milk is very nice too. You know, I'm glad I'm hard, it's like it isn't ever here. But it's right. I don't know, they look like these giant gummy type things. But they're kind of hard, so... I bet they'd be like the Mullen Spall, maybe? I have Iron Brew. That's not German. And they didn't have Iron Brew in their German little, or Spotify. Savages. You know, Scottish is crap. You don't get them in the Irish little either. Savages. Is it German Little or London? I want to know. You know, because it's in, it's in Germany, and they're a little outside of Germany. They're saying, are you saying it's uh, redundant to say American and Mmm, I suppose. Well, I don't know, it's not because now you get like fun little things and McDonald's all over the world, so you need to you differentiate them. You know, like how American KFC is, com is terrible compared to British and Irish KFC. I don't like this at all. Because you don't get the uh, you know, Zinger Tower meal and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I don't like the inside. And has the texture, those like little banana gummy things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys, it tastes like circus peanuts. Like the, 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 the consistency inside is like circus peanuts. Americans will love it. That's fine. The worst of all snacks. We used to get those and then they just stopped. They're awful. Do you like them, sir? Yeah. <laughs> it's... I mean, if he doesn't, I'll take him home. I'm going to eat him now. I mean, they're perfectly serviced. We'll just eat. Careful. Yeah, grab one every now and again. Yeah, I just, the, 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 the consistency of the... I don't know. I think about the texture and stuff inside. I'm like... You're like, yeah, I hate it. it. Insulation. <laughs> Another round of gummy from Nim2. Well, you should have bought less gummy. Yeah, but they were weird flavors. Yeah, I mean, that's always fun. The there really wasn't a lot in the German store that we don't already get here. 
we were looking for something that had a little bit more unique German flavor. And these were like basically pointed like, like this. Industry <laughs> and um, long words. You say, but once when I was in second year, when I was in undergrad, we did a. Uh, oh, look. They're kind of stuck. They're oh, like, they're like the little, they're like um, the little sharks. You know, you have the white part and then the blue part. Anyway, we went to Germany for a few days. I already knew exactly what it's going to taste like. And I'm not wrong. It's a ghost. Inside. A little ghost, but he's got a little gummy back. Either it's a ghost or it's like a headless person. No, because look, they all have little personalities in the back of the package. Mm. Yeah, tastes exactly what I saw and seems like it yeah. was based on the I think their names are like ghostly puns of the fruit. Mm. <laughs> In German. Yeah. Well, what's the red one then? The red one is Kirsch. I just like to know who I just ate. What's the green one? Apple. Uh, I'm sure that means someone is like. But yeah, no, we, we went on this exchange, this other uni, and then we saw the, the town of Osnabrück, and then we had been, we left the German techno club at 2 a.m. the night before, after having drinking all night. And then so we had. Like we the next morning we had uh, we went to a tour of a of an ironworks on a blast furnace and that was really great, but then in the early afternoon the the city of Osnabrück wanted to do like a presentation about how great they are in industry and how good they are in business and how successful they are, and so we basically had to sit there in this boardroom this very fancy boardroom like at the chamber of commerce like desperately trying not to fall asleep because we were all so exhausted and we hadn't had lunch yet. And so I was like digging like my fingernails into my palms like I can't fall asleep, I can't embarrass us all. Oh, it was terrible. But they're really great at industry and, and, and technology, so they are. Okay. And more gummies. Yeah, these ones are a little bit different. Yeah, they took us, they took us seriously. Uh, good too, serious. it was getting ready. Right. Another one from Nim2. I think these are just competitor to Haribo at this point. Uh, 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 Maybe I might even like I'm not gonna tell them about that. Let's see if they figure it out. I don't like this. Wait, what is it? I missed it. Uh, it's a surprise. Oh, I want a green one. These are also very squidgy. I think they might have gel inside as well. Very squidgy. It has big eyes. No, there's a gummy one. I got a leaf. <laughs> might a leaf too. I think it's lime. No flavor? I'll try it. What was the part that I wasn't supposed to know? That they're vegan or something? There was gel in them. Oh. Well, you can tell. There wasn't as much gel as I expected. I was expecting there to be a surprise, like, they were made of flies inside or something. Well, like, well it implies that there's a lot more gel, so I was yes. expecting it to, like, explode in your mouth. Oh. Like Gushers fruit snacks. Yeah. Also, I don't think the EU would allow flies inside, unless it was specifically on the package for allergen information. That might well have been, and she was keeping it in. Let's fly in Germany. Now, I will say there's one thing about Germany that really blew my mind. <clears throat> Whenever you'd be wandering around the shop and then just on random shelves you would find alcohol in between the sections. You'd just walk past sticks and then there'd just be a shelf of, like a little bridge end of like Baileys or whiskey. Even the impulse buys next to the tills, there was like tiny little bottles huh. of Vodka, brandy, scotch. <laughs> like, 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 you're not drinking before half ten in the morning. So. Yeah. Just, so you'd be looking at the impulse items while you're waiting in the line of the till, and there'd be chocolate, crisps, booze! Oh, you And also just, just, just fucking cigarettes, too. Yeah. Well, well, over, well, over here, we've got them sectioned off, and then... Yeah. Cigarettes are like behind the cabinets, you can't even access them. Yeah, yeah but they get sectioned off, which the, the sections are open before uh, you're allowed to buy alcohol. So, like, several times we've gone early in the morning to, like, we decided to pick up some alcohol for someone. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, did find out at the till that, you know, you can't buy that for another three hours. And then you feel, like, so, like, you, like everyone thinks you must be some kind of alcoholic, because you forgot that, oh, it's Sunday, it's not <laughs> Saturday, you're like, oh, I'll get my shopping done early, they'd be like, oh no, you can't be buying this before half 12. Why like, is the section I'm not open? An it's a separate section with a door. I, I, wanted, is it I wanted one beer so I could make beer. They used to lock it, people would then break it. Mm. Fair enough. You can't buy it. No, because you would be Karen's being like, it's not, for some reason it's not opening. It picks up with an Irish I want to go through this area to get down to the taco mix. 
The reason I went off on this wee tangent is because one time Carl and I were just waiting in line at the till and I noticed this as the impulse buys. <laughs> it is, I think, I was going to say like Irish cream, but it's not Irish cream. It's like German cream. Yeah. So it's, I'll let you give the bottle once I take this stuff. It looks like maybe it might be a cordial of some kind. Yeah. Or like some kind of cream mix. Like there's a cream banana cordial that yeah. is nasty. So. Uh, For a So it's like a little booze praline. It's in German. I have no idea why I've tried to drink. Yeah, sometimes they have like little things here. Oh, here we are. Um, oh, it's eggnog. Oh no, ew, disgusting. <laughs> Finest filled bittersweet chocolates with egg liqueur filling. Bleh. You must have to be really desperate to drink this. You must be like, I need to get drunk immediately. Maybe I'll just like keep it in the freezer in case of an you know, it? emergency Sorry? entertaining. I I do drink if it's not very often and I don't much care for Honey, eggnog. That's not gonna that's not even like a tenth I know, of a year. I also don't care for like eggnog. Saying, he gets out of it for religious reasons. I'm right not going to be the only one suffering. Yeah, we this. have to make content. I dislike eggnog. I don't See, like, this is the fun thing. I don't thing. like creamy alcohol except for this. We have pretty much liked the vast majority of things on here. So yeah, we need to have something weird. that we'll discuss yeah. about. Because you got things that are good, like gummies and things full of hazelnut and it's chocolate. So like, it's even got a don't tiny little... Yeah, the insects. Ugh, nasty. Oh, God, I'm not even finishing it. No comment from the bar? And I love alcohol. Her face is all screwed up. <laughs> no. You know what it tastes like? <coughs> it's even darker. Well, make sure you're in Oh, I'm it. so drunk. Make sure you're in screen so people can <laughs> see you. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, here we My go. I'll be a portion screen. Do you know what these taste like? These taste like those awful oh, God. alcoholics, like chocolates. Like somebody <laughs> would bring, like an elderly relative would bring to the party. They sure it. I didn't have to suffer. Only because of the Lord. Is the only reason you're getting out of this. Can you get a tissue over there? Tissue. You're all good. Uh, stick it in. Yeah. Here. Ugh, nasty. No, but like, and and it would be like ones that they got at like the dollar store because they went off three oh. years ago. Oh, oh, cuckoo, cuckoo. Give it to your mom. She knows you. Know, she... Well, she, does she like eggnog? <laughs> eggnog is not a thing here. It's disgusting. Eggnog no. is not a thing. That's something you Americans do. You throw fucking eggs and booze. Would you like here? Let me get you hey, a paper towel because this is really rapidly it. deteriorating. I don't, my dad was a weirdo. Exactly. My dad was once so tired coming home from work. He didn't want to cook anything. So what he did is he grabbed an onion and a block of mature Irish cheddar and sat on his wee armchair and <laughs> went between taking bites out of the raw onion and the block of cheddar cheese. And when I question him, he you says, well, it's one. the same as cheese and onion crisps. Let me get you a point. I'm fine now. Yeah, but we just have a big mess. So. Uh, yeah, that's that. Let's have a Yeah. Yeah. That's disappointing. I thought we had more than that. Not really. We don't have. Did you like these? Oh, fine. Did you like these? Yeah, sure. Here oh, the cleanser. Come on. They're the little cleanser. They're the still... See, that's one thing that's good about liqueur sweeties, is it only stays in your mouth as long as the actual substance is as well. Yeah. There's no aftertaste. Right. But yeah, those are fun. Oh, no, but those really do remind me of, oh, like, the Langolier. in the 80s, ah. you know, somebody would bring a, uh, <laughs> a glass or something like that, and it would be, like, various different kinds of cordials. And then, like, you'd nick one because you're like, oh, chocolate. And you put it in your mouth and you'd be like, oh, no, why is it burning? Why does it smell like the doctor's office? I need something tasty to cleanse my palate, dear. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. mm. I'll figure some kind of drink to make out I'll of this. I'll give you licorice kisses later. I feel like I have to keep it. I could have swore we had salted, um... Yeah, Eric, you can have oh. lots of this. Just bear in mind that it's in pieces. Yeah, I'm not ordinary some pieces. Help Colin will give you some licorice later on by licking your wrist. So we ate German things, and Germany is a great country where they have a lot of fun products. That's unfortunately a lot of the things we saw over there we also have. So there wasn't much variety. Yeah, I mean, so many, so much sport, or Rick's sport, oh, yeah. so much Milka. 
I love the fact we have Milka here now. You went to I like. I really like the little Biffa Bifi thing. I wish that I was here. I keep being told that, but it did look pretty real. I mean, it could have been a very, very elaborate illusion. Well, well that's obviously what it was. Well, yeah, but Bielefeld not existing. It's an in-joke in oh, Germany right. that Bielefeld doesn't exist. So, um, it was clearly a very, must have been a very elaborate illusion. A lot of effort was paid in for it. Uh, bonus points, I didn't crash the car we rented that was driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh, was they drive on the right side, like in America? Yeah. Oh, We're driving the evil side. They also have Dunkin' Donuts in Germany. Mm. We have Dunkin' Donuts here, just not in shops. Just I will also no, say... You have, like a, you have, like, crumbs all in your beard. Germans on the Autobahn are fucking insane! Well, yeah, because they drive in kilometers per everything. They also move very fast. Like, yeah. um, just the difference when we're coming home thing. from Dublin and then in the Autobahn, it's like, it felt slow on the motorway here. Yeah, the Autobahn, they have no speed limit, so... Only in certain areas, in certain stretches. Right, usually it's about 120, but most people were over. Usually when you are um, going to where well, there's going to be a set of junctions, off India time, they impose a speed limit. Well, Slow you down for that. So that makes it easier for people to get on. I would lose my shit. I could not drive on the Autobahn. I've seen videos. Do you know what outpaced me on the Autobahn? A tractor. A fucking ladder. <coughs> I don't know what that is. <coughs> Not an Eastern European car. Oh. <laughs> it was. It had a bad reputation back uh, during the fall. Uh, you know, before and during the Cold War, and it's still like an ongoing joke. Because I was, I was thinking like even the tractors, like in Germany. Hold on, hold on. I'm taking the auto, but let me down. Just... <laughs> so, just to confirm, audience, the content is officially over. You can leave. No, now we're just shooting the shit. Uh, yeah. So feel free to turn off. We're not going to be offended. Um, you should probably check out some videos from other pe I don't know, we're not... Yeah, like, subscribe, something about things. Bell, um, um, support Patreon. Yeah, become a patron, because yeah. then you can, like, do Red Bubble stuff. Store. Hagen has her own Discord that, that you can hang out legit with her on Discord. Mm. There is, uh, lots of things. You how becoming many, a patron would be very good. How many hours of sleep yeah. are you going Yeah, then on? you could request for me as the Patreon minion to know the fuck out of her with random shit. Uh, I had about three hours sleep and I took a sleeping pill and I got woken up early by someone over there who's off camera, you know, swanning around. Look, they like, said between 12 and 1 and they arrived at 12.15, which was between 12 and 1. I needed to know if you needed me to bring the bloody Patreon thing before I drove 45 minutes to get to your house. You're like, I'm gonna wake oh, up. Think of all the Americans who are now thinking, what are you talking about? 45 minutes. I do that for a pint of milk. Or yeah, and that's wrong. Of milk. Australian, you're like, we live in a country boy, where that's everything what it is, is the milk. You, you, you could buy a pint of milk. Can you? Yeah, a pint or a gallon. Okay, yes, because that's all right then. I mean, no, I we live in a compact country where everything you need is within a 10 minute walk. Yeah, yeah so well, here's easy. the thing, though. If we lived out in, like, Cary Gart, there's, like, only the one farm shop, because mm -hmm. my friends live out there. So I guess we would live, like, in the ass hole of Donegal, then, out where there's nothing. And you're spoiled for choice for pubs. Yeah. Within, quote-unquote, walking distance, which is, what, 15 minutes, which is just under a mile, there are... 10 pubs. What, down the town centre? No, that's just even just around our house. Oh, I thought you meant and us. And I was like, what pubs are you talking about? No, I'm talking about back home. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if you're talking about within a mile of our house, there's a lot more than 10. I know. That would include Waterloo Street. I said under the mile. Uh, because Waterloo Street, it's just, it's got 10 pubs on it alone. Uh, yeah, that's like one of the main Yeah, stretches. but they're all, they're all shit now. Like, there's Trinity, which tries to be like fucking Versailles on the Strand Road. And, um, no, that's trying to turn it into a nightclub. That feels like a John Wick movie. I've just seen their YouTube videos that they'll occasionally someone will like on Facebook so it'll show up in my feed and I'm like, I'm not paying that much to dress up like that to stand about the, the music, ice music, the, the, the lights, the light show, it just it feels like you're walking into that nightclub and genre. Yeah, but also it's still on the strand road. Yeah, true, true. And the bloody uh, light are trying to blind people. It well, looks like shite when you walk past. I've never done the town at night. Nice. Uh, well, it, it's definitely it's gaudy shite. It's very gaudy. Yeah, that's why I said they're trying to like be like Versailles and Derry. Like, look it's at like our someone is trying trees. to have a rave in a Baroque painting. Yeah, it just. Although I went to Silver Street a few weeks ago when I was coming back late from Belfast, and I got a really nice open steak sandwich. So visit Silver Street next time you're in Derry slash London Derry. Mm. Silver Street's nice. Anyone else have anything to say? Yeah. Thanks for coming. We're so glad to have you. 
I'll end this video. I'll do it. I'll take one for the team. So like and subscribe and do all that great stuff. Hey, um, if you live in another country and you're a patron and you have some really cool regional snacks that you'd like Hagen to try, uh, get in touch with us through the Patreon and we can give you like a P.O. box to send to. Oh, that's totally cool. Stuff. We should totally do that. Encourage people to send us free shit. <laughs> you're gonna make, about, you're gonna, about your address. That'd give us terrible stuff. Get a P.O. box. Yeah, get a P.O. box. Yeah, get a P.O. box. It costs a lot. Well, it doesn't. Oh, really? Yeah, like 30 quid a year or something. Maybe yeah. 50 quid a year? I investigate. Aren't you glad you clicked on it? Really? I must investigate myself.